Hello friends of Skelevator. Here today I'm going to be exploring wave two of Masters of the Universe Origins as delivered by Walmart. Um, this first one here arrived in an envelope, severely damaged Orco. Uh, the card back as you can see here is, it looks like somebody even tried to open it up already. It's got several folds. Um, many problems. Too bad. If I collected these um, mint on card, it would be a problem, but I open these things. So there's the artwork by Axel Jimenez, and here's the incredible uh, cross cell art. I'm really looking forward to getting Scare Glow and Trap Jaw. Um, and you're going to see at the end of this video that I did get Trap Jaw. Orco comes with this purple sort of blast of magic ether and a slightly damaged as you can see there um, invisible peg invisible in quotation marks um, peg for orco to stand on or to float on if it once it, you put it into that purple billowing smoke it doesn't move which is which is fine um, here's the comic and this, as you know, this same comic comes with every single figure from this wave. Um, here's a brief preview. The artwork, as usual, is awesome. I love Trapjaw's face there um, on the side. Just awesome. Um, and let's get this thing pulled out of here. I'm really pleased with Orko. He looks just like the Orko from the cartoon. Um, the classic Orko is great, but this Orko, um, I really love how his articulation lets him be as expressive as he needs to be. Um, I love how his head swivels. It's awesome. Um, and he's got these odd, I don't know if you're all noticing this, but his thumbs are really long. And maybe it's just been a while since I've seen the filmation cartoon and focused on his thumbs, but they seem a little long. Um, that's the only thing weird about this figure. He is otherwise just awesome. Like the rest, his head comes off. I did try putting other heads on him and it don't quite work because of that turtleneck. But overall, Orko from Wave 2 of Masters of the Universe Origins is a, a delight. I'm really excited to have him. Um, he looks great amongst the other characters from both Classics and Origins. Um, and far superior than the vintage one, in my opinion. Now this next one, uh, this next package came from Walmart a few days after Orko. And as you can see, it seems like they're listening to fans of the of the, that have been complaining about the shipments because it comes here in this box uh, there's no bubble wrap or anything as you can see but um the card back is in much better shape for manny faces and uh i have to say i i feel like walmart might be making an effort here because it turned out pretty good uh the unpunched unpunched card is in good shape manny faces uh you know the the packaging is great but as you'll see there's a couple of dings on the, there's some paint scuffs and, and marks um but i love again the card back art here you can see that he can turn his faces to different characters and here he is in all of his glory um a flamboyant actor manny faces turning into a, the monster to help defend um eternia see there's one of those scuffs let's get him open Um, as you can see, it comes with the same kind of book from Wave 2. He comes with his pistol, which is a little bit smaller than the vintage version, which is cool. Fits his proportions a little bit better. And, uh, you know, a lot of folks have been complaining about his orange skin um, or the orange color, the flesh tone. Um, it doesn't bother me so much. I kind of, I've always visualized or pictured Manny faces not being 
uh, regular humans, so I always thought that the orange was part of his armor. Um, <clears throat> his colors are fantastically bright, which is a little bit too much for some, I can, I can tell from watching other people's reviews. Um, but his, you know, his articulation's good, his, his legs and everything are fine. There's some, you know, the paint is not fantastic, but the vintage characters, I remember they didn't have great paint either sometimes. And here he is standing next to his buddy, the filmation style, Manny Faces from Super 7, which I think is an amazing figure. Um, but these are the two standing next to one another. The, the colors are um, extremely vibrant with this character. And, you know, the details on the faces are not um, as good as previous versions of this character. I, I'm, I agree with that. Um, but overall, I like this guy. Um, I don't really collect heroes except for Orko, Manny Faces, and Moss Man. Um, so I'm happy to have Manny Faces. Now, here's the third shipment from Walmart this week. It's a giant box. It comes with, you know, bubbles. You know, as you can see here, lots of uh, plastic bubbles and um and trap jaw right down there at the bottom the only thing in this giant box and trap jaw is in an amazing shape the card back is great if i collected mint on card figures this one would be put right into a plastic sleeve and and stored away somewhere but um this artwork by axel jimenez is fantastic I love that the clamp is being used as a way to uh, attach that string to that tree, so the, or the rope to the tree, so he can swing through. Um, let's get him open. I was really excited about this guy. He's always been one of my favorites. See, same comic book. I want to say I just love the colors on this guy. Um, you know, as usual, he comes with the three or the three attachments to his uh, mechanical arm. Um, but I I love that there's articulation in the elbow, in the shoulder, on which is unusual. Um, we only saw that in the Super Seven filmation version, where he could actually move his shoulder out, which is great. His jaw, of course, moves, and I don't know about you all, but those eyes are fantastic. There he is with his clamp. Here he is with some other trap jaws from my collection. Um, and he just stands out. There's something special about him. I really, really, really like this guy. He definitely um, pushes that nostalgic switch for me or switches that nostalgic button on. Like, uh, I'm really happy to have him as part of the collection. Look at those eyes staring you down. So there you have it, folks. Um, Trapjaw and Orko and Manny Faces, part of Wave 2. My favorite weirdos from this wave. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being part of this journey with Skelevator. Um, please click like. Please click subscribe. And uh, join me on Facebook. Join me on Instagram. Thanks so much for being here. And until next time. See ya.